Uh, service call on a isometric ISO 500 HA2. This is what it looked like. Okay world, uh, this video is about isometric ice machine ISO 500 HA2 uh, 2004 machine. Um, this first part of the video is going to be, is showing a hot gas defrost coil the ohms of a good coil this is a 115 volt coil or a 120 volt coil whichever way you look at it but the ohms are were 154.6 or 0.7 ohms so right around 154 ohms okay world uh, this is about ohming out a uh, coil for a 115 volt hot gas coil the uh, harvest coil uh, for ice machine, ice cement ice machine. Okay, this is a 115 volt coil. Uh, just put your meter on ohms, pull it out, and that's what we get. So uh, this is this particular coil on this ice machine. Okay, ice machine. Isomatic ISO 500 HA2. That's uh, isomatic, the 500 pound machine. That's a 0500. H means half dice. A means air cooled. Two is the second revision um, of the machine. Uh, 0409. Serial number is uh, first four, so 2004 uh, is 04. 09 is September. That's when the machine was made. 15 volt machine R404. Uh, we need a condenser fan motor. When I started it up, it started squealing and squeaking and barely moved and didn't move and it barely moved, so that's on its last legs. Um, and this I've got hooked up. I got a problem with the machine freezing up, so I did this to see if I get voltage. The double flag terminal things. Um, put those on there, and uh, I believe I found out what's wrong. Though I uh, looked at the harvest motor, and the harvest motor is uh, the, sh the uh, little brass part on the top is loose, and the bottom of the motor is screwed. It's still tight, but the inside of the harvest motor uh, is wiggling. So. I'm pretty sure that that's what the problem is. Um, just waiting to see if uh, this works. We'll see. Um, just want to confirm that all the parts work. <coughs> so, uh, anyways, got the meter on bolts. Let's see right here. Bolts and the squiggly part of the bolts means sine wave. That's AC current. It's a 115 volt machine, so. Hopefully, um, there's a fair bit of ice on this, so hopefully it'll go into defrost here, uh, kick into harvest rather, and uh, we'll see though because, uh, anyways, we'll see. Okay, we're all for the ice machine. Oh. Just dropped out of uh, hot gas defrost. That's yeah. Sorry, I didn't catch it. It had the voltage there, uh, but now it just went back into freeze again. <coughs> okay, we're all uh, uh, this machine. Unplug it here. Oh. oh. Anyway, she's unplugged. Um. So what we got going on here is the harvest motor. I don't know if you can see it. Let me turn on the video. <coughs> okay, world. Uh, this isomatic ice machine. So all isomatics of this style have a harvest motor down here. Probe motor, you call it anyways. So 
It's not supposed to. I don't know if we can see if we can. But that's not supposed to move around like that. And the motor itself is tight underneath, so anyway, so the actual probe motor down below, I don't know if you can see it. going on. Uh, probe motor's not turning. Uh, so, need to put a new little harvest motor in there. And sometimes those things are all rusted out and they're a real pain in the rear. I'm going to see what that looks like from under there, if that video helps at all. I'll have to see. I'll have to review that video, but we also need a condenser fan motor. This thing. See if I can get on the tag or solenoid valve down there that thing's looking pretty crusty so that should be replaced looking a little rough our ice bottom of the ice machine that's the bottom of the ice machine water damage um, needs a new condenser fan motor needs a new harvest motor Isomatic, same machine. Uh, ISO 500, determined what's wrong. We got rust here, real bad. Um, we got rust in the back there. Uh, 12, 2005, 14, uh, four, 2004 machine. So it's basically September 2004 to 2005 in service. Probably 12 years old. This is 2017. We got harvest motor that shakes around. That ain't no good. We got condenser fan motor right here. It squeals and doesn't start up on startup. So we need condenser fan motor. We need harvest motor. Uh, we got a valve down there, water valve. Um, that needs replaced. It's all rusty, big time bad. See if I can grab my flashlight and put that on. Let's see if I can light up that water valve that's down there. It's pretty. Let's see if I can. Over there. Yeah, there's the water valve. That's in pretty bad shape. So that needs that needs replaced. Um, still works though. But anyways, and you can see the compressor serial number um, 04. If you're Copeland, your serial number on your compressor, 2004 original compressor. That's how you can. That's how you can tell. It's a uh, 04H is your serial number on your 2004 on your compressor. So that's that. So this thing needs condenser fan motor, harvest motor, should do a water valve. Yeah, so a bunch of money. I told them to replace the machine. Uh, better replace it. Plating's the loose. The uh, the grid's not loose, so that, at least that's good. But you got plating that's just starting to come off in there. You can see plating that's just yep. So uh, time for a new machine. 
So, yep, yep, yep. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, click like on the video if you would, and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And I'm gone fishing.